So you probably own one of these, right? <laughs> well, if you don't, this is the latest version of the Vapid Vajero ZX. And it's a convertible. And boy, is it one of the many treats of 2023 to come to Los Santos. But if you own this car, or if you're thinking about buying this car, can we be honest with each other for a second? Can we be honest about this hunk of testosterone, shall we say? Something is seriously, at least five things, come on, is seriously wrong with the Vapid Vajero ZX convertible. This is a convertible, right? Right? So you would think Vapid would design the convertible top to function like a normal convertible. <laughs> think again, my friends. When you put the roof down, the rear quarter panel glass sticks out behind the passenger seat. It's like, honestly, a serious plank in the eye that can't be removed what you see. It's ridiculous. Here's a funny question for you. Have you ever wanted to drive with no hands? <laughs> but Jero ZX Convertible, you can do that! You can! For some strange reason, when you get in this car, your hands never touch the steering wheel. I don't know, it's baffling. It's almost as if Vapid wanted you to have the car drive for you. I don't know. Look, ma, no hands. I mean, if you didn't think something was seriously wrong with the Vapid, you clearly can see it now. I mean, if you take it to be modified, the carbon performance skirt modification option does not even appear on the passenger side of the car. I mean, come on now. Now, I'm convinced that Vapid only built the driver's side of the car, went out for drinks, got swish faced it, and this right here is what we got. Some may say I'm nitpicking, but the turbo mod option when applying the house special works upgrades uses the term modes. And that's usually a term reserved for electric vehicles. They definitely got shit faced last night. I'm sure of it now. And of course, like, the trim color is broken. If you bought this car from Simeon's car dealership, you can't change the trim color option. What else can go wrong on a $2 million muscle car? You tell me. Okay, okay, okay. I have to admit, this is a fabulous, a fantastic car. I mean, Vapid did an exceptional job on it. But if you aren't really into Vapid's keen sense of oversight and possibly soft tops, I'd get the coup. <laughs> you never know. They practically do the same thing, right? Right? <laughs>